money has solved the problem of double coincidence of want inherent in the barter system so over here see instead of asking a double coincidence what they have explained to you like this money has separated the act of sale and purchase right so act of sale or purchase means earlier whatever i want to sell there should be a condition you want to purchase it right but now with the introduction of this this is not like this is not the thing you can purchase anything you can sell anything yes no yes manisha yes, so we will quickly write it down okay and then we will start with the next
Both of you done? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, coming to the next part, this. Right? Giving reasons, state whether the following statements are true or false. First of all, what do you think? You will tell me. CRR and SLR are complementary to each other in controlling credit creation. True or false? I am not. Both of you? Yes. Why? Because either if you want to control it, you can increase CRR or SLR because they are the part of LRR only. That's why they are complementary. Complementary means together they work. Now, market rate of interest and bank rate share a direct relation. Yes or no? Market rate and the bank rate, yes, they are the same thing? Yes. Right? Then, currency created by a central bank is called bank money. False. Uh, what does like uh, fiat, fiat money fiat money or other word hmm. fiat money or legal tender money or high powered money okay one more word is there high powered money okay okay okay, okay. so this is what you don't need to write you know everything then next is how can improvement in banking habit of the people accelerates the pace of economic growth, right? So over here, if you will improve the banking habit of people, how they will help in economic growth? Important question. Because they are application-based question. They are not theoretical-based. That's why right now you must be wondering, ma'am, we are unable to answer or something like that. Why? Because they are application-based. That's why. Okay? Over here, you have to think. There is no one answer for that, right? You can I write anything. Right. So improvement in banking habits of the people means that instead of holding cash in hand, they start depositing money in commercial banks. Right. So this is the banking habit. Earlier, before Corona period, like before the lockdown, everyone was saving them like not Corona period. Yeah. Even in Corona period and even in India, uh, there were demonetization. So everyone was having cash. Nobody used to save it with the bank, but suddenly when demonetization, there was a rush over all over the India, right? That what to do, what now? Then even in Corona period, most of the people, they, you know, said that they won't be accepting cash because it's basically the physical touch, right? So over there, then UPI was introduced. People started doing UPI. So this is what now people are preferring to have money in the bank account so that they can easily do UPI payments and phone pay, Google pay, Paytm and all that. But uh, what is bank habit is basically instead of holding the cash in hand, just start depositing the money in the commercial bank. What Because of this, what happened? Increasing primary duration, this will lead to the uh, more of secondary deposit or the credit creation by the commercial bank. And when credit creation accelerate, automatically the economic growth will be expanded, right? Yes, okay, so you can quickly write it down.
Well, just let me know once you are done, okay? Girls, done? Okay, okay, do it. Okay. Okay. Now, this one, you know the relationship between the LRR and the multiplier, right? So, no need to do this. So, you know that LRR decreases, money multiplier increases and all that, right? Now, the next is, is the general price level in the economy influenced by the money supply? Explain. See, you know this price. I already told you about the price, right? For example, what is inflation? Rising of price. And money supply is basically that how much money is there. So, see, higher the money supply raises the level of aggregate demand, right? There, if there is a lot of money in the economy, then people will demand more. And when there is a demand, what will happen? Automatically, the prices will increase, right? So, higher money supply raises the level of aggregate demand. And if there is no corresponding increase in aggregate demand, then the general price level in the economy decrease, increases. Clear? So, this is the relationship between the money supply and the general price level in the economy. Okay?
dan dan uh, just give me one minute ah huh? okay okay ma'am Okay, so sorry for the disturbance. Okay, now next is giving reason. State whether the following changes by RBI will increase or decrease the money supply. So decrease in bank bank rate. What will happen? It will increase or it will decrease. Decrease money supply. Okay, decrease in money supply will increase or decrease. Mm hmm. Think about it. Think, think, and answer. Okay, I'm just giving you two minutes. You can go through your notes where we did this bank rate, marginal requirement, and the security open market operation. Think about it. Uh, Mom, it will increase. Sorry. Mom, it will increase. Uh. You are asking me to repeat, Panisha. No, no, I'm telling it will increase. Okay, it will decrease. Increase. Increase. Yeah. Yes. Yes. What about Ritika? Ritika, what do you think? No, no, right. Increase. Increase. Yes. Okay, so both of you are correct because see. Bank rate is basically when they will decrease the bank rate, right? So automatically, what will happen? More and more money, more and more people will come to take loan, right? And automatically, there will be increase in money supply. Then RBI increases the margin. Earlier, the now it is thirty percent. So what will happen? And money supply will decrease. Yes, money supply will decrease. Why? Because earlier you have to pay. For example, you are taking hundred rupees thing, one twenty rupees security. But now you have to pay one thirty. Not everyone is able to afford the same. That's why it will decrease. Then purchase of security in the open market. What will happen? Increase or decrease? Increase. Increase. Actually, I can hear both increase and decrease same. You can say I or D like that. Mom, I. Okay, Ritika, you also I. Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes. When they will purchase it in return, they will give them money, right? And that's why it will increase. So these type of question they ask sometimes instead of you know just asking you what is this margin requirement, what is open market operation, they give you the question like this. So you have to think in a logical way. 
clear so when the examiner is planning to set your paper higher or tougher they'll go for this okay 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 uh now coming to the next one hmm. this do you consider the commercial bank creator of money in the economy so yes just quickly just give it a reading within one minute Okay, both of you done? Yes, ma'am. Oh. Now coming to the next part. This say the components of money supply very easy. You know the components, right? Then the giving give the uh, meaning of money. You know money supply. You know what are time deposit. This is important. Okay, so see time deposit are basically those deposit which cannot be withdrawn before the expiry date. For example, you are depositing the money. If the example of our, uh, this time deposit is RD recurring deposit. Recurring is repeating. So it's like for next five years. You have to deposit 1000 rupees every month. Okay. So you are doing like this. But over here, those deposits, there's a time that, okay. For example, you are keeping money in your bank account. You can withdraw it anytime. But over here, these deposits, you cannot withdraw before the expiry of this stipulated time period. Right. So this is basically deposit. And it should be like generally it is said 15 days, 20 days or after one month only you can withdraw like this. So they are the time deposit that you, you are depositing it timely, but you can withdraw it only after certain period. You cannot withdraw it. For example, tomorrow, today you deposit it, tomorrow you want to withdraw it, you cannot do that. Okay? Clear? Yes. Sir. Okay. So you'll quickly write it down. Then let's move to the next part.
London. London. Okay. Now demand deposit you all know. Cash is a ratio you all know. Money supply you know. SLR you know. Right. And this money you know. I don't know when I did all this. Okay. It's maybe the glitch. And then LRR. Cash is a ratio. You already know the things. Okay, uh, then this, you know, uh, demand deposit, bank rate, you know, money supply, you know, demand deposit, you know, bank rate, time deposit, right, demand deposit, components of supply of money. How can Reserve Bank of India help in bringing down the foreign exchange rate, which is very high, very, very important. Okay, so overhead they're asking Reserve Bank of India, they can help in bringing down the foreign exchange rate, which is very high. Okay, so see, RBI should devalue the Indian value rupee. That's why for bringing the high rate of exchange, RBI can increase the supply of foreign exchange by selling foreign exchanges for its reserve to bring down its value. Clear? So it is very, very important and student get confused over here, right? When we will be doing foreign exchange, but this will be more clear. Foreign exchange chapter is there. We'll be doing that. But for this chapter, if they ask you in this context, then you should know that for RBI, they will devalue Indian rupee to bringing down the high rate of exchange, right? And over here, or what they can do, they can increase the supply of foreign exchange by selling foreign exchange for its reserve to bringing down its value. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so let me just show you the question and the answer. Okay, you can see both. Yes, ma'am.
Done, both of you? Ma'am, yes, yes. Thank you. Okay, both of you done? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, what is butter? This is not that. What are time deposit in the bank? Demand deposit, time deposit, you already know. Right? And then what is meant by this? Cash is a ratio, SLR, you know. I don't understand why there's a glitch that why over here, whatever I taught in the maths class is here. I don't understand. Okay. Now components of the money, which of the following is not a function of money? So which is medium of exchange, price stability, store of value, unit of account, you know, the price stability, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Next is who regulate money supply? Choose RBI, right? This you all know. Cash is a ratio, you know this. Which of the following is direct tax? So right now you don't need to worry about all this because we have a, a government budget chapter where we'll be doing all this. Then this is not there. Money supply includes, you know, this. Money supply includes all deposit in the bank, only demand deposit in the bank, only time deposit in the bank or currency with the bank. So what does it mean? And people get so much confused. They'll write this, all deposit in the bank. Is it? No. No, it's no. only the demand deposit in the bank. Clear? Yes, Okay. Uh, I hope you people got this. Yes? Yes, ma'am. And then next one is this. The ratio of total deposit that the commercial bank has to keep in the, you know this, right? It is cash reserve ratio. Demand deposit include all these things. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with this? Oh, just a minute. Yes. Okay, I don't know why it's taking so much time. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one, let's just start. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, this we have already done, right? This part? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, now over here, uh, these are the things. See, this one. Government banks functions, two functions of money, banker of government, credit creation role, you already know, right? How does central bank control credit creation? You already know, right? Bankers, bank, legal reserve ratio, right? Money supply and explain its components, right? And uh, then explain the lender of last resort, bankers, bank, so everything will be repeated. They will be asking you from here only. Right? See, this question. 
explain the meaning of open market operation how it is used to by central bank to control the money supply so over here you will write both inflation as well as deflation in case they are asking you controlling so it can be both right when there is less money supply and when there is more money supply so you will write both inflation and deflation okay okay okay, okay girls okay yes ma'am Okay, then central bank control credit creations, bank of issue functions of bank, you know, government bank, right? Explain the unit of account. You already know currency is issued by central bank. Yet we said commercial bank create money. Very very important. See, currency is issued by the central bank. Yet we say that commercial bank create money. Explain how is this money creation by commercial bank likely to affect the national income? Explain. Okay, see, you know that we always say that a commercial bank create money, but who is actually doing the things? So see, this one, money creation and the credit creation is one of the most important activities of commercial bank. Through the process of money creation, commercial bank are able to create credit, which is far excess than the initial deposit. There are two component of money supply: currency with the public and demand deposit with the current share, commercial bank. Currency is issued by the central bank, whereas demand deposits are. Created by the commercial banks. Bank use the money in demand deposit to give loans. When a bank give loan to somebody, it simply create a bank deposit equal to the loan amount in the name of the borrower. This new deposit created by the bank become a part of the money supply. This is how bank create money. Commercial bank lend money mainly to the investor investors, thereby increasing the investment. Increase in money supply in the economy will increase the aggregate demand, lending to the increase in the national income. That's why we already say. That who is creating the money? Commercial bank. Okay. So what you people are going to do? I you want to write it down or you are like okay? Well, okay. It's okay, right? Because you have to just explain that though it is issuing, but who is creating? Central bank is not creating money. It's basically issuing only. That's why we say that commercial bank create money. Issue central bank is doing, but creating commercial bank is doing. Okay. 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 Then unit of account is there. Then after that, this explain how open market operation. You already know all this thing, and then bank rate, then repo rate, role of cash reserve ratio. Uh, then bankers, government reserve, uh, reverse repo rate, process of money creation is there. And then explain the role of open market operation, role of reverse repo rate, credit creation by the com. Uh, this legal reserve ratio is given, which is zero point one. New deposit, which is the initial deposit, is ten thousand. Explain the process of deposit. So you have two things: initial deposit and LRR, right? So over here you will form the entire table and you will form everything, right? Clear. And then role yes, of cash reserve ratio. Right, and after that, legal reserve ratio is given. Role of reverse repo rate you have to explain, and after that, explain the role of bank in decreasing money supply. Right, when there is decreasing money supply, like deficit demand, and like this, and uh, credit creation process is there. Process of money 